What is your proudest accomplishment now that you can actually look back and say, okay, uh, this is a, now officially a Hall of Fame career, and you can now legitimately look back. You can't say, well, you know, when it's all over, when I get right. to this spot. Now you can legitimately look back and say, this is what I'm proud of. I'm proud of this, Steve. I think, I think it's everything I've done along the way to get to that point. You know, when, when you, when you play the game, especially at, at, in the NFL, really all you, all you ever want is respect from the guys that came before you. Um, that you just want to, you know, your, your dream is to be sitting at a function and have a guy that you looked up to come up to you and say, you know what, that was a hell of a career. You, you played the game the right way. That to me, that's, the ultimate compliment you can get, you know, you're going to have your family, no matter what, say, wow, you did a great job, whether you're not got beat for five sacks in a game, you know, that's, that's a given, right. But when you have a guy that you respect, pay respect to you. And to me, um, this is the ultimate, you know, uh, pat on the back from, from that standpoint where, you know, you're in that club and it's just, it's, you have to do everything right. And you have to give it everything you got on any Anytime you put your hand on the ground, anytime you strap up that helmet in order to get to this point, and, and it just kind of kind of confirms that I did it that way. Steve. Now, I, I, um, you know, I, I went to a Super Bowl and lost, um, you know, played in a, in a tough NFC championship game, one game away in 09 with the Vikings and, um, you know, lost to New Orleans. So I don't have that hardware um for the Super Bowl, which is, you know, everybody's goal when you start playing this game. Um, and so there was a little bit of a hole. There was a void left. Uh, you know, I, I felt that, you know, I gave him my all, and, and, and but I didn't have anything really to show for it other than, a you know, a 12-year career. And, and, and at the end of the day, when that knock came, it was like, man, it just kind of, in my eyes, it, 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 would, it legitimized it for me. It gave me closure. And um, it, it just, you know, it, 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 it was great. Steve Hutchinson, Hall of Fame inductee for the 2020 class right here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. And then after I saw you in that hallway at Honors, and then you got uh, introduced uh, on the stage, and this has been a neat thing the last several Honors years, and this is definitely not planned, is that once the entire class that's, uh, that's coming is introduced, every Hall of Famer that's in the audience gets up and walks on the stage. Uh, who came up to you? Yeah. What was that moment like? Steve, well, the you. first one, I mean, you, 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 all of a sudden these, these guys flood the stage, you know, and, and the first one and and, you know, I, we've had conversations over the last couple of years at, at the Merlin Olson luncheon and some of these on site at the Super Bowl leading up to the vote and, and, and over the Super Bowl weekend, the first one was, you know, Steve Largent and he ran right up to me and, you know, it's, it's really cool because unlike some of these other teams um, that have a, a rich, you know, um, story tradition of Hall of Famers. You know, the Seahawks, we've only got we only got a couple of them, you know. And and I was fortunate to be in two amazing, uh, be a part of two amazing, outstanding um, organizations. And, and um, for the majority, I, I spent a year in Tennessee at the end, but, but for the majority of my career, uh, you know, Seattle and, and Minnesota, as you know. And so Largent came up, and then then I think after that. The next one was Ladania, and that was special because Ladania and I came out. We were drafted the same year. We we trained with the same agent. We trained together prior to the combine and the draft and all that. And and he came up, and and that was special. And then and then John Randall, I spent and I learned how to play the game going against every day in practice. My first three years, you know, he came up, and then and then uh, man, Ray Lewis was there, and you know, we my first year, we were finalists together two years ago, and. And Bruce Matthews, who, you know, I think is the best to play the position, you know, he came up and he coached me in Tennessee my last year. And it's just, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's unbelievable to be flooded with all the guys that you, like I said earlier, you grew up watching the guys you respected and you know, man, these are the best guys to ever do it. And they come up and give you a hug and congratulate you. And it's like, you know, it's pretty overwhelming. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.